Panginoon bago kong maging ganap na pari nais ko munang humingi ng kapatawaran lalong lalo na kay Samantha mahal ko sa pero hindi ko mahindian at baliwalain ang pagtawag mo kung talagang pinatawag ka niya magpaparaya ako Baunin mo to. Para kahit paminsan-minsan, naisip mo ko. Pagkasal mo na rin ako. I love you. Goodbye. Sinundan ko ang iyong tawag at napagdesisyonan kong pumasok ng seminaryo. Hindi ko man lubos maintindihan ng una, ginabayan naman ako ng Espiritu Santo. At sa aking pagpasok, Tinagap niyo ko bilang isang tunay na anak Panginoon. Sa loob ng seminaryo, hindi lamang sa pag-aaral ako natuto. Natutunan ko din makasalamuha at makipagkaibigan. Kasama sila sa mga masasayang alaala ko bilang isang seminarista. Pagtutong si kalima at ikaanim na taon sa seminaryo, patuloy pa rin ang mainit na pagtanggap niyo sa akin sa Divine World Seminary. Lalong lumalim ang pagkilala ko sa inyo, Panginoon. Naging mas malapit ako sa mga bagay na inyong nilikha dito sa digdig kung saan ikaw ang naghahari. Bago ko maging isang ganap na tagapaglingkod ng Panginoon, tanggapin mo na wa itong taos pusong pasalamat ko sa iyo. Ito ang aking samot na langin. Amen. Ngayong isa na akong ganap na pari, hayaan mong ipagpatuloy ko kasama ng aking mga estudyante ang kalooban mong lumikha sa tulong ng iyong lakas at biyaya ng isang daigdig kung saan nagahari ka sa bawat puso. Isang daigdig na may kapayapaan at katarungan at pagkalinga sa kalikasan. May magpapatuloy pa kaya sa aking ginagawa, Panginoon?
Please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the divine word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God the Holy Spirit and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass as shown on the screen.
A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. The Church celebrates today the memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran S. Ridi, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Today we celebrate the feast of Saints Joachim and Anne, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Their names cannot be found in the New Testament only from the tradition of the Church. Devotion to Saint Anne started 6th century and devotion to Saint Joachim 8th century. Pope Francis just declared the feast of St. Joachim and Anne as also Grandparents' Day. We prayed for grandparents yesterday. We will pray for them again today. All Lolos and Lolas. All grand uncles and grand aunts. Let us now acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God, Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Me almighty God, mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, God of our fathers, who bestowed on Saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses turned and came down the mountain with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, tablets that were written on both sides, front and back tablets that were made by God, having inscriptions on them that were engraved by God himself. Now, when Joshua heard the noise of the people shouting, 
he said to Moses, that sounds like a battle in the camp. But Moses answered, it does not sound like cries of victory, nor does it sound like cries of defeat. The sounds that I hear are cries of revelry. As he drew near the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing. With that, Moses' wrath flared up, so that he threw the tablets down and broke them on the base of the mountain. Taking the calf they had made, he fused it in the fire and then ground it down to powder, which he scattered on the water and made the children of Israel drink. Moses asked Aaron, what did these people ever do to you that you should lead them into so grave a sin? Aaron replied, let not my Lord be angry. You know well enough how prone the people are to evil. They said to me, make us a God to be our leader. As for the man Moses who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. So I told them, let anyone who has gold jewelry take it off. They gave it to me and I threw it into the fire and this calf came out. On the next day, Moses said to the people, you have committed a grave sin. I will go up to the Lord then. Perhaps I may be able to make atonement for your sin. So Moses went back to the Lord and said, Ah, this people has indeed committed a grave sin in making a god of gold for themselves. If you would only forgive their sin, if you will not, then strike me out of the book that you have written. The Lord answered, him only who has sinned against me will I strike out of my book. Now go and lead the people to the place I have told you. My angel will go before you. When it is time for me to punish, I will punish them for their sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, Terrible things that the Red Sea. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Then he spoke of exterminating them. But Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. With your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proposed the parable to the crowds. Kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants, becomes a large bush. The birds of the sky 
come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. Kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables, and he spoke to them only in parable to fulfill what had been said to the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has lain hidden from the foundation of the world. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. If I had to do it all over again, I will choose my mother and my father. Napakabait nila. <clears throat> Lagi sa simbahan. Tsaka mauwain sa mga pobre. Yan ang sabi ng mga bisaya. Yung tatay ko, chief of police. Pag may vagrants, hindi niya kinukulong yan. Inauwi sa amin, nililiguan ng nanay ko. Bibigay pa yung mga damit ko eh. Sabi ko, hindi ba pwedeng yung lumaan-lumaan na ang ibigay po unin niyo? Titignan ka lang ng nanay ko ng ganun, wala ka nang masabi. So, wala ka rin masabi eh. Sa simbahan, my, my parents were children of their time. Na devotion to God, awa to the poor. <clears throat> Ginagawa pa rin natin yan ngayon. Since the lockdown, the shrine of Jesus the Divine Word has been conducting feeding programs not only for the shrine but for other parishes through the help of Caritas NASA. Na hindi na namin nilalagay sa social media kadalasan yan, kagaya ng community pantry. Pero salamat sa mga volunteers, masisipag na volunteers ng Social Service and Development Ministry ng Shrine. Sipag sila. Kahit may panganib na ma-infected, punta sa mga maralita aya. Hinahatid yung pagkain. Ang sarapan ng pagkain dahil sa kusina ng Wow Organic Restaurant di Luluto, yan eh. Sinara na namin simula nung mag-lockdown, pero pampakain sa mga undernourished children, tinitimbang pa yan, ginagawa ng sarai. Gaya ng mga tatay at sa mga nanay ko, naaawa din sa mga pobre. Kailang? In the light of the gospel today, may kulang tayo, may kulang simbahan, may kulang yung nanay at saka tatay ko. Kasi, ang tungkulin natin, magiging libadura, yung pampatubo ng flower na gagawing tinapay. Walang lasay ang tinapay pag hindi umalsay. Sinasabi sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, Jesus mismo ang nagsasabi. Kailangan yung lipunan Baguhin mo rin, parang umaalsa na tinapay. Magkakaroon ng katarungan yan, kakaroon ng kapayapaan. Yun ang kulang for the most part ng simbahan sa Pilipinas. Parang magaling tayo sa dole out. Maganda din naman kasi marami din naman kailangan do dole out. Kaya lang, ang lagi kang sinasabi sa mga volunteers, SSDM yan. Social Service and Development Ministry. Mahina tayo sa development. Hindi tayo masyadong nagiging libadura. We are not so strategic and effective in becoming like yeast na pinapaalsa. 
yung tinapay. So, kailangan, as we celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, titignan din natin. Kasi wala namang perfecto na Christianity. May kakulangan tayo lahat. So, nakikita natin ngayon, kulang ang pagiging libadura. Kulang ang pagiging mustard seed na tutubo tapos nagbibigay ng silong sa mga ibon. Tapos yung dahon pa niya nahuhulog will fertilize the soil. Anong dapat natin gayon gawin para magiging libadura at masunod ang utos ng Panginoon? Kasi kung likas lang sa atin, yung awa, pakain ka, padamitin mo dyan, okay na yan. Sa atin niya, eh kung babalik ka sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, ni San Mateo, Kapitulo 13, versikulo 31 hanggang 35. Libadura, mustard seed. So kailangan, Babalikan ko ulit yung lagi kong sinasabi. Ang pamamaraan na tinuturo ng simbahan, panahon pa ng mga imperador sa Roma na ang daming pinatay ng mga Kristiyano. Ang uturo nila para lumapit sa Diyos, ora et labora. Prayer and work. Personal holiness, yung rosary, Eucharist especially, hindi tayo nababuhay na walang Eucharist. Personal holiness, through prayer, but there is also good works, social transformation, ang sinasabi ng mga santo papa na ibig sabihin yan. So magpakain ka ng mga bata, limampu lang yan. Pero magtatanong ka, bakit nagugutom yan? Sasabihin ng mga santo papa, social injustice. Hindi makatarungang pagkakahati-hati ng yaman ng Pilipinas. Natatakot tayo dyan. Sabi ng Santo Papa, sa aking palagay, totoo din naman. Kasi hanggang pumasok ako sa seminaryo, tama naman niyang tatay at saka nanay ko, napagaganda na noon. Kaya lang, tiniruan na kami ng social, Catholic social doctrine at sinasabi ng Santo Papa yan. Para bang noon, may ilog, mabilis ang agos, nakakita tayo ng bata. Uy, naanod! Langoy tayo. Ligtas natin yung bata. Tapos, feeding program tayo para sa bata. May scholarship program pa tayo sa bata. Tapos, may bata na naman. Inaanod na naman. Langoy tayo. Seminar tayo ng paano lumangoy. Baka gagamit na tayo ng scuba diving. Dahil ang daming mga bata na inaanod eh. Sabi ng Santo Papa, ligtas mo yung mga bata. Pero tignan mo kung sino yung nagtatapon ng mga bata doon sa may taas ng ilog. Hanggang hindi mo pinigil yun. Eh, scuba diving ka lagi. Ang lalim din ang sinasabi ng Santo Papa. Natama din naman. Magaling lang tayo mag-swimming para iligtas yung mga bata na inaanod na. Yung mga bata na itatapon pa lang para ianod, hindi natin alam kung anong gagawin doon sa nagtatapon eh. Eh lalo na sila naman makapangyarihan. Iilang pamilya lang, kanila na yung malaking bahagi ng kayamanan ng Pilipinas. Ayaw nating marinig yan. Nagagalit sa akin yan. Nagmimisinger yan na. Doon ka na lang sa ano, prayer. Teach us how to pray well. Tinuturo ka rin naman. Pero... As God's prophet, I'm also saying now, repeating just what the Pope are saying. Pigilin niya yung nagtatapon ng mga bata sa ilog para hindi iaanod diyan. Kung hindi, walang katapusan tayo. Magtatanong ka, bakit yung mga bata dyan sa may burakay, burakay pa ang tawag dito sa babaan ng chaplain, ng chapel, ng ano? Bakit nagugutom ang mga bata? Na pag nagtatanong ka raw na ganyan, kaga, gaya ng sinabi ni Dom Helder Camara, Camara sa Brazil. Halos saint na yun. Sabi niya, 
Pag pinapakain ko yung mga bata, santo ang tawag nila sa akin. Pag nagtatanong na ako, bakit nagugutong yung mga bata? Komunista naman ang tawag nila sa akin. Kalooban ba ng Diyos na iilan lang ang tao ang bilyon-bilyon ang pag-aari na hindi na nila kayang gastusin kahit gagasta ng milyon-milyon araw-araw? Pagkatapos, sabi ng SWS, 48% of Filipinos think they are poor. Kalahat eh, ng mga Pilipino, nahihirapan. Kulang sa pagkain, kulang sa pangangailangan. May nagtatapon ng bata doon sa itaas. Pigilin natin yan. Magdadasal tayo sa Panginoon. Encounter God personally. Tapos titignan mo kung anong sasabihin niya. Huwag yung mamimili ka lang sa sinasabi ng siba. Ito maganda. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavenly burden. Tapos dyan na lang tayo. Nakalimutan natin yung Panginoon na nanghahagupit sapagkat ginawa natin bahay ng mga magnanakaw yung kanyang templo. Siya din yun eh. Nasa Bible din yun eh. Ibabalansin natin prayer and work. Personal holiness and social transformation becoming the living that transforms society so that there will be justice and peace. Turo ng simbahan yan. Kung ayaw mo yan, pakita ka sa akin ng sulat na sa Bible saka na sa Santo Papa na sa lungat sa aking sinasabi. Kung totoo naman, babalikan ninyo, magdadasal kayo sa Panginoon, gawin natin. Let us come together, mag tayo ng strategies. Paano ba natin uplift? Sabi ng Santo Papa eh. The only way to solve the problem of poverty is to allow the poor to participate in economic activities. Hindi yung parang utusan mo lang, okay, may eggplant. Bibilihin ng mga mayayaman yan ng 20 pesos. Pagdating sa Commonwealth, 80 pesos na. So, 60% of our people are engaged in agriculture. They are the poorest of all. Paano tayo magiging liven doon sa mga magsasaka na yan? Paano tayo magiging mustard boost doon sa mga magsasaka at sa mga maralitang tagalunsod? Yun ang ipanalangin natin sa misang ito. Let us not be blind to a holistic understanding of our faith. Tignan natin yung kabuuan. Tignan natin yung Panginoon na nagsasabing, Come to me, all you who are labor and are heavenly burden. At yung Panginoon na nagsasabing, Tatanungin tayo sa wakas ng panahon. Nagutom ba ko? Hindi niyo ako pinakain. Sasabihin ng iba, Panginoon, hindi ka naman naman nakikilala kasi busy-busy kami sa aming mga prayer meeting eh. Nung hindi ninyo ginawa sa akin yan, na may mga squatter doon sa tabi ng inyong chapel, hindi inyo pinakain, ako yung hindi ninyo pinakain. Manalangin tayo to become a living for social transformation so that the kingdom values of justice, peace, and the defense of God's creation will become concrete in the lives of the poor. Prayers of the faithful. We are God's children, but in humble prayer, we come to Him as servants of the kingdom, seeking to do our duty, to be a mustard seed and the living that transform society towards justice and peace. In prayer, let us ask God, Lord God, let us increase in your grace. Lord God, let us increase in your grace, that Christians and those who profess belief in Christ may grow in faith and love for one another as a sign of God's kingdom, we pray. Lord God, let us increase in your grace, that our personal faith may increase and that we may acknowledge our complete dependence on God, we pray. Lord God, let us increase in your grace. That those whose faith has grown cold and who are overcome by despair and anxiety 
may be blessed with new enthusiasm to renew their Christian commitment, we pray. Lord God, let us increase in your grace, that amidst their poor health, the sick and those who suffer may persevere in their faith, we pray. Lord God, let us increase in your grace, that the dead who have served the Lord in God's kingdom on earth may be welcomed into life eternal, we pray. Lord God, let us increase in your grace, and we pray for our other intentions. We pray, Lord God, let us increase in your grace. God our Father, realizing that by ourselves we can do nothing, help us to cling steadfastly to your teachings in faith. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive it for you, O Lord, these offerings of our homage and grant that we may merit a share in the, bless in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us your signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example of Saints Joachim and Saint Anne lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Oh, uh, no. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let's proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Help of the sick, with blessed Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, with saints Joachim and Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven that his kingdom might come in the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus' words of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus' Lamb of God, of the world grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Savior of the world, who commanded us to proclaim his gospel to the ends of the earth. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We are pilgrim people. We are the Church of God, a family of believers. of the Lord, united in one spirit, ignited by the fire, still burning through the ages, still present in
Let us pray. O God, who will that our only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery, humanity might be born again from you. We pray that in your kindness, you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give your children through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynadimitz, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the divine word, become a human being. Thanks be to God.